Good morning, and welcome to Recruit Training Command at Naval Station Great Lakes, the quarterdeck of the Navy. I am Rear Admiral Craig Mattingly, Commander of Naval Service Training Command. I want to personally welcome you to our Navy family. What an exciting day. Family, friends, and shipmates, it is an honor to have you with us as we celebrate the graduation of our newest United States Navy sailors. It seems just like yesterday, I was graduating boot camp and it meant the world to me to have my family and friends sitting in the audience just like you. I wanna take a moment to thank you for playing a significant role in the lives of these sailors before you. Your support, your encouragement, and your love help them reach this time-honored tradition. As we look upon these young women and men, we see a transformation that took place over the past several weeks. They endured rigorous physical and mental training, pushing themselves to their limits and beyond. They learned the importance of teamwork, of discipline, and of dedication. They have become a proud part of our tradition of service to our nation. Each of these new sailors will play a critical role in fulfilling our Navy's mission. They will be stationed around the world serving on ships, on submarines and aircraft, protecting our nation and our allies. Your sailor will make a positive impact on the world. They will be ambassadors of our country, representing the best of what America has to offer. They will be leaders, they will be mentors, and they will be role models for others to follow. And as we celebrate this graduation, let us remember the sacrifices that were made to get us here. Let us honor the commitment and the dedication of these new sailors. And let us look forward to the bright future that lies ahead, knowing that our nation is in great hands. Thank you, thank you for playing a significant role in the lives of these recruits. And I warmly welcome you to our Navy family. Enjoy the ceremony and celebrate your sailor. Thank you.
salute the states and territories whose sons and daughters will graduate today. Delaware. Pennsylvania. New Jersey. Georgia. Connecticut. Massachusetts. Maryland. South Carolina. New Hampshire. Virginia. New York. North Carolina. Rhode Island. Vermont. Kentucky. Tennessee. Louisiana, Indiana, Mississippi, Illinois, Alabama, Maine, Missouri, Arkansas, Michigan, Florida,
is graduate performing here is Division 9, 3, Divisions. Right. Face. Section leaders. Fall out and collect outer guards. Divisions, counter, march. May I have your attention, please? For the remainder of the review, no one will be permitted to pass in front of the review stand. And we ask this as a courtesy to our reviewing officer. Photography is certainly encouraged, but we ask that you remain seated and off the drill deck. The photographers you will see on deck throughout the review are the official photographers of the group, training, command.
division commanders left or right, base, power rate, rest. Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. I'm Lieutenant Josh Jones, Recruit Training Command's Drill Division Officer. I'd like to welcome you to today's task review. Today you will see 10 divisions comprised of 798 sailors participating in their graduation ceremony and soon to join the most powerful Navy in the world. Please draw your attention to the unit position sent back. There is the Review Command and Staff. The Review Commander is responsible for conducting the graduation ceremony. Today's Review Commander is Senior Recruit Christian Young from Sheboygan, Wisconsin. Let's give him a hand, folks. Performing today is the state flag unit on our seventh week of training, the staff unit on our eighth week of training, and the triple threat unit on our tenth and final week of training. These units are comprised entirely of recruits. During the night of arrival, recruits are placed into divisions of the PD personnel and assigned to division commanders. Recruit division commanders form the backbone of recruit training and are key individuals in the life of every recruit. Division commanders must serve as counselors, disciplinarians, administrators, and military leaders. Above all, they must show themselves as outstanding examples of military bearing, appearance, attitude, and behavior. Each division also has a recruit chief head officer. This senior recruit supervises the visual staff positions and leads the division in the absence of their division commanders. Now, ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure to introduce the graduating divisions, their division commanders, and recruit chief head officers. As I introduce each division, they will raise the competitive flags they have earned throughout their training. As I introduce each recruit chief head officer, the flag representing their home state will also be raised. Please hold your applause until all attractions have been completed. I will start from their right. Division 1, 8, 1. Commanded by Head Officer First Class, Mike Bulmer. Head Officer Second Class, Tyler Cove. Head Officer Second Class, Marlon Parker. And the Recruit Chief Head Officer, Senior John Hazlitt of the Watkinsville, Georgia. Division 1, 8, 2. Commanded by Chief Petty Officer Wendy Cole. Petty Officer First Class Nicholas Fields. Petty Officer First Class Francis Monteiro. And the Recruit Chief Petty Officer Seaman Andrew Kimball from Goddard's Machine. Division 1, 8, 3. Commanded by Chief Petty Officer Kyle Foxwell. Petty Officer First Class Paul Pike. Petty Officer Second Class Christopher Miller. And the Recruit Chief Petty Officer Stephen J. Farnell from Atlanta, Georgia. Division 1, 8, 4. Commanded by Head Officer First Class Lance Shu. Head Officer First Class Elizabeth Rodriguez. And the Recruit Chief Head Officer Seaman Layton Petrol from Little Elm, Texas. Division 1. Eight, five. Commanded by Chief Petty Officer Jawan Murray. Petty Officer First Class John Lee. Petty Officer First Class Alexander O'Dean. And the Recruit Chief Petty Officer Seaman Amara Bishop from San Diego, California. Division 1, 8, 6. Commanded by Chief Petty Officer Lydia Gutierrez. Petty Officer First Class Edgar Garcia Quintana. Petty Officer Second Class Adam Colocha. 
And the Marine Chief Petty Officer, Seaman Apprentice Jacob Hoffman from Lake Oswego City, Arizona. Division 1, 8, 7. Commanded by Chief Petty Officer Kalan Rome. Petty Officer First Class Adam Nelson. Petty Officer First Class Henry Downs. And the Recruit Chief Petty Officer, Seaman Apprentice Carlos Miller from Detroit, Michigan. Division 1, 8, 9. Commanded by Chief Petty Officer Robert Van Horn. Petty Officer First Class Eddie Guerrero. Petty Officer First Class Wesley Green. And the Recruit Chief Petty Officer, Seaman Bradford Barr from Atlanta, Georgia. Division 1, 9, 0. Commanded by Chief Petty Officer Juan Miles. Petty Officer First Class, Winston Winslow. Petty Officer First Class, Earl Green. And the Recruit Chief Petty Officer, Seaman Recruit Matthew Lawrence from Houston, California. Division 9, 3, 4. Commanded by Chief Petty Officer Jamoy Smalls. Petty Officer First Class, Joseline Kyle. Petty Officer Second Class, Marquel Thorne. And the Recruit Chief Petty Officer, Senior Recruit Amaya Crenshaw. <laughs> On behalf of the commanding officer and staff of Recruit Training Command, we congratulate these division commanders and Recruit Chief Petty Officers on a job well done.
Will the guests please rise and remain standing for the arrival of the official party? The guests may be seated.
holy God, thank you for this day. Thank you for this opportunity to gather together as shipmates, as families, and as loved ones. As we congratulate our new sailors, we take this time to say thank you for being with them over the course of their instruction. Through good times and bad times, ups and downs, moments of frustration, and moments of joy, we acknowledge that your grace and mercy has covered them throughout their training. We take pride in their development over these past weeks and look forward with great anticipation to the amazing things that they will do throughout their Navy careers. As they prepare to transition to the fleet, we ask that you would guide them, protect them, and keep them safe as they strive to be the men and women that you would have them to be, as well as the sailors that our country needs them to be. We ask that you would be with each and every person here today. Thank you for safe travel to this place, and thank you again for this moment of celebration. We ask all these things with honor and praise. Amen. At this point, the commanding officer would issue orders and instructions to the unit commanders. Then the unit commanders would face about and relay the information to their divisions. Today's events show how orders are passed through the chain of command. Good morning, Captain. I present the graduating divisions. Request permission to commence the review. Good morning. Commence the review. Aye, aye, sir. Hooray! 
a division that exceeds basic requirements in these areas where your training qualifies as a battle efficiency division and is awarded the Battle E flag in recognition of their performance. Four divisions have earned this honor today, and we congratulate them. and is awarded the CNO Honor Flag for this exemplary achievement. This designation reflects a high degree of teamwork, morale, and esprit de corps, as well as the superb leadership of the division commanders. Two divisions have earned this honor today. Fireman Young receives a letter of commendation from the commanding officer. Well done, sailor. Division 187 from Antelope, California, is the winner of the United Service Organization's Award for Best Exemplifying the Spirit and the Intent of the Word Shipmate. Seaman Tone is given a commemorative plaque from the United Service Organization. Well done, sailor.
Thank you, Admiral. Good morning, Admiral. Thank you, Admiral. Good morning, General. Thank you. Thank you, General. Good morning, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Good morning, sir. Thank you, sir. Good morning, Colonel. Thank you, Colonel. Division 185 from San Diego, California, is the recipient of the Military Order of the World Wars Award of Merit. This award is presented for meritorious performance during recruit training. Seaman Bishop is presented with a commemorative plaque from the Military Order of the World Wars. Well done, sailor.
contemporary to recognize such outstanding individual accomplishments by these sailors with a round of three cheers. The adjutant will lead all graduating divisions in three cheers for this morning's award winners. Admiral Lisa Brandt, the leader of our Navy, 
First, I want to thank each of you for serving in this critical time. Next, I would ask you to look across this drill hall and remember to thank your families and friends. Their love and support allows each of us in the uniform to commit ourselves to protecting our own land. And third, I must stress the importance of having a winning mindset. Never forget you serve in the world's greatest name. As sailors, we answer the CNO's call. Always be ready to preserve the peace, respond in crisis, and if necessary, win decisively in war. Be proud. Our Navy operates more than 100 ships around the globe every day. Our Navy is flying, sailing, operating everywhere international law allows, safeguarding the freedom of the seas for all nations. The recent nine-month deployment of one of our aircraft carriers, the USS Dwight D. Eisenhower CV-69, the Mighty Up, and the multiple aircraft fighter squadrons and Aegis missile destroyers in its strike exemplifies. During their deployment, the Ivan strike repeatedly came under hostile fire from Iran by Houthi forces in Yemen. They were determined to disrupt the crucial international trade route through the Red Sea. But our sailors, professionally trained and equipped with unmatched firepower, successfully shot down attack drones and advanced missiles nearly every day. These attacks targeted innocent shipping and threatened both U.S. and partner naval forces. The Ivan Strikers' efforts protected our sailors and kept open this key maritime trade route for the benefit of all. I share the incredible efforts of these sailors to emphasize that our Navy cannot achieve its mission without dedicated, talented, and exceptional sailors like all of you. In each of you, I see our Navy's future, and it's truly inspiring. Shipmates, you are about to embark on an incredibly challenging and rewarding adventure. I can promise you, it is a profession unlike any other. A fulfilling career of service to our nation, alongside like-minded men and women, your teammates. Your service will demand sacrifice. Some days, and some decisions will be difficult. You are joining our armed forces at a crucial time, a time of significant unrest around the world. But your fellow sailors will always be there, helping you and our Navy conquer any obstacle in front of us. I want to thank the recruit division commanders, instructors, and staff here at RTC. You maintain the Navy's high standards and expertly develop our new sailors. Your contributions and dedication are impressive and impactful. I also applaud the families and friends of our newest sailors. Your love and support encourages them to stand up for their country, to embrace the Navy's core values, honor, courage, and commitment. Today, you also join the Navy family. Thank you. And most important, to the graduating sailors this morning, military service is an immense responsibility. And after weeks of rigorous training, you are now ready to be sharing in that responsibility. You have earned my respect and the respect of a grateful nation. I look out on this impressive group of sailors as they are about to retire after serving 40 years on active duty. God know that the future of our Navy and our nation is strong. I take great pleasure being the first to say congratulations and welcome aboard champions.
By Samuel Pringle will now receive the salute of the graduating divisions, and he will be joined on the drill deck by our commanding officer, Captain Crowder. Please remain seated until your graduates have been placed on liberty. Post sections fall out and retreat out of our arms.
in an uptown parking garage. Sailors going on liberty without a vehicle are to exit the gate towards the train station parking lot. If your sailor is reporting to Navy Station Great Lakes for follow-on training today, you will experience some waiting as your sailor checks in. As you wait, the National Museum of the American Sailor welcomes your visit. It is conveniently located just past the mini gate of Naval Station Great Lakes with plenty of parking, free admission, and a helpful and friendly staff. Ladies and gentlemen, thanks again to each and every one of you for joining us on this most memorable of main days. And without further delay, may I hear this. Liberty Park!